exactly. <laughs> Flooding is no joke. No, it's really not at all. And to be honest with you, we saw a lot of those flooded roads out on Saturday night. Yeah, it's just not worth driving through it. Honestly, culverts wash out. You don't know if there's actually a road underneath you as well and how deep that actually is. So things do change rapidly with rushing water. Just think about how strong it really is. All right, yesterday we were one degree below our average temperature with a high of 79. Few of us, though, flying into the 80s once again. Wapaka hitting 83 degrees and also Shawano 82. Now this morning, wow, you can't see anything. <laughs> at all. It's that foggy. It's very thick and dense out there and temperatures are actually a few degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday morning. Imagine that some low 60s into the Fox Valley, some upper 60s to low 70s along the lake shore. But those dew points matching those temperatures pretty much exactly creating a dense fog advisory here for our northern counties through about 9 o'clock this morning. So visibility is down to a quarter of a mile here into Green Bay, only a half a mile into Appleton. Make sure those low beams are turned on your windshield wipers drive safely out there. Winds are not helping mix this fog out. We have to wait until, like I said, around eight or nine when some of those winds start to pick up. We're also looking at a risk of some damaging wind gusts here today, this afternoon, and once again this evening in some strong to severe storms. I mean, did you see those dew points? We're going to rise into the mid 70 degree dew point range. That is what the Gulf of Mexico feels. That's what it's going to feel like here for us today. Clear skies right now, just a few clouds lingering in towards Manitowoc and Sheboygan, and of course the state of Wisconsin pretty calm at the moment. Don't be, you know, confused by that when the sun does come out because that's going to create the instability as a slow pressure heads towards us, sending a wave of storms around the noon hour and then more strong to severe storms that are going to be pushing down throughout southern Wisconsin and even into Illinois as well. So you can see we've been upgraded to an enhanced risk here, especially into Fond du Lac. Uh, Appleton's included in that risk as well. Watoma, Sheboygan, you're just on the edge of it, but it doesn't mean it can't get very strong to severe for you too. So here's what's happening around 11 o'clock starts to enter Shawano area, then headed in towards the Fox Valley around one. This is just the first round. We'll have a little bit of calm weather before the next one fires up after six o'clock this evening, where we could see some very, very strong winds that could be destructive knocking down trees and power outages as well. Plus flooding, like Cameron said, I mean, we could get another one to two inches very, very quickly, especially down towards the Oshkosh area and Lake Winnebago. Now tomorrow we'll see some sunshine to start the day, but once again, more storms firing up in those evening hours where we're still in a slight risk for severe weather, which would mean some damaging wind gusts and some large hail as well. <laughs> Let me tell you what, you're going to need to stay hydrated too regardless. It is going to be very oppressive, high heat and humidity today with highs rising to the upper 80s. Then tonight, very muggy fog again, falling down into those upper 60s. And then tomorrow, we soar into the 90s with extreme dew points. It's going to be feeling more like 100 degrees out there. So we start to finally cool down as we push into Friday with a high into the upper 70s. Then we start to feel like summer and calm things down as we head into the weekend. Again, whew, just beautiful sunshine, no storm chances out there, finally. Great. Thanks, Brittany. Can't wait to cool off a little bit. Yeah, me too. <laughs>